is Queen BJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes six of my dad's secret ambition. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Oh, <laughs> honestly, you could. <laughs> Y'all could sell them for some. Probably, I don't know, maybe some good prices, unless like there was an adult. Who wanted a little kid backpack? I, I don't know why they would want a little kid backpack. But though I like honestly, I really like those the, the style of them. They look a lot cuter than like the typical backpacks we get here in America. But I mean mm, it is adorable. I buy one. I wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah. But I want to know why. Yeah. So that's why. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, why don't you get to know this person and then just tell them straight to their face? Hey. Stop selling, you know, book bags to my kid. <laughs>
Oh, the rebellious phase. They do. We do. But sometimes we just want to be rebellious. rebellious you know? No. Precious baby. Ah! <laughs> For him. <laughs> yeah, it's too late. You could have like someone else hang out with you for the day. Oh, oh, you about to hurt this poor child's feelings. Huh. Because mm. of human. Oh. That was the car. You'll never get over it, but you have to. She's going to find out. <laughs> mm, you never know.
You gotta take one for the team. Remember, you're the leader. <laughs> Is it even a lot of people? Someone's gonna bound to be able to show up. Come on. You got this. See, look at that line. You thought nobody was going to show up. Huh? Oh, never mind. Damn. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Why did you say it like that? Oh my god. There you go. <laughs> you could have said that you were 20, and I think she still would have fell for it. Mm. Well, I mean, you're not tight to Kuba or anything, Brad, but I mean, <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute! Okay. She'd come. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she coming? No, it's just a friend, a friend, a co-worker's friend. Okay.
If you only knew, these are your actual fans. Ah. <laughs> uh. Mm -hmm. He is a way around. Exactly. They were actual fans. And if they like it, he may look like it too. I know. You even explain the dirty jokes to your like what five, six, seven, eight, nine year old? Oh God. Thank you for that save. So do you want to work at a bookstore that also has like a Starbucks in it too? <laughs>
rainbow. You do it because you love it. Mm. Hmm? Yeah, you may. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> Oh my god, so he drew that for her. Oh my god, no. The field. Oh my god, I can't with this freaking show. We're not even done with it, but Jesus. Why are you doing this? <laughs> but see, he may do the different jobs of the fucking crew. Oh my god, she's so precious. Just the most cutest thing. Ah, uh, I love her so much. Uh, the last few minutes of that episode. That hurt. I wasn't expecting that. Like, oh my god. He drew a mug for her. He's saying happy birthday. Oh my god. I just I can't. It's so fucking sweet. And the fact that it's everything that she wanted that she doesn't have right now because she doesn't have her mom. She doesn't have her dad. We still don't even know anything yet. And he's just like not even here. And I hate that. But I also with the fact is that whoever that guy was in the car it, it, like I don't think it's someone who's related to them maybe it's like maybe a 50 out of 50 but <laughs> oh my god are we finally gonna go into detail about he made mom yes please okay but as I was saying and how he was talking about that he would still hold a grudge even if he may brought home a guy and he was a manga artist like him, that he would still be pissed. He doesn't want and he doesn't want he made to be in a relationship with someone who is like him. It's typically like that with most parents. Where they don't want their kids to suffer the same way that they did, have certain situations or problems that they were into because there are some parents who feel like they failed as a parent. And in that way, as someone who is not a parent, as of right now, I don't understand that. But, like, from what my mom has told me from some things and then talking to um, some of my friend's parents or whatever and everything, you get the little bit of, like, lessons from it. But it's not, you're not really going to feel certain things until you yourself have kids at whatever age you decide to have kids. And then you're teaching them the same things that your parents taught you and so on and so forth. And the biggest thing is that for parents, you don't want to see your child fail because it feels like you failed along. You failed as a parent and doing what you wanted for your child or children or whoever. But I don't know. I mean, ugh. But it's just that, just that last little bit I need to know. I really just, I pray that her dad, and I've been doing this every single week, 
her dad is not dead. I pray to God her dad ain't dead. I like with that opening, I mean that ending, every single time I see that and I see the car with the dog in it, I feel like that's her and her dad driving away with the dog and just moving on with their lives together. I don't know. I'm just like I want to know so bad because there's still a lot of unanswered questions and big old mysterious and a big mysterious air bubble that we will never probably get answered until the next few weeks of the show however long this show is i don't know other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode six of my dad's secret ambition if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially on next thursday for episode seven bye guys